Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Counting Corner. I'm going to do yet another flip through video. This time it is of fairy houses. There are 25 designs in each book. It, there is a volume one and a volume two. And these books are by Stephanie Ellsworth. So let's look at the first book. And let's see what these look like. Here we have the title page, which of course can be colored in. And of course, these are all going to be little fairy houses. Oh, that's adorable. Look at the daffodils in the background. Very pretty. Wasn't exactly sure what these books were going to be like so I bought them anyhow. Oh cute. Looks like a little fairy house from Holland. <laughs> or it's just something with a windmill in the background. Oh that's cute. Look at the big mushrooms. And is this like a gourd house? That's what it looks like. There's the mushrooms. Boy, we have fairy houses all over. It seems she always has, you know, flowers in the pictures too. Aw, it's baskets. Some more pretty flowers. There we have a pumpkin house. Oh, these flowers are so pretty. These are uh, some fancy uh, fairy houses, aren't they? I mean, they even have smokestacks. <laughs> so they can cook inside their houses. Oh, look at this. This almost has some grayscale to it. Very nice. <laughs> Looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Somebody did not design that fairy house too well. <laughs> oh, look at all the cattails, dragonfly. And they had to build it up out of the water. A oh, watering can. <laughs> Looks like they made a very pretty fairy house out of that. There's a regular tree house. Now that looks like that could be for Halloween. <laughs> looks like your typical haunted house. Oh, and out on the beach. Fairy house inside of a shell. Is that a conch shell? Is that what they're called? Oh, look at this fancy staircase. Spiral staircase. With a bridge going over to this one. Wow. Gotta be rich to have that one. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, these are cute. I'm glad I got this book. <laughs> the little lady who lived in a shoe. Here's a teapot house. Little buttons for the Stepping stones, if that's what you want to call them. Now they're a seashell house. 
And that is that. There is a page back here for testing your mediums. And here it shows a picture of Stephanie Ellsworth. It says she is an artist and art teacher. She currently lives and works in Winnemucca, Nevada. <laughs> Winnemucca. That's quite the uh, place, quite a name. All right, let's look at Fairy Houses 2. Hopefully it's as cute as the first one. Oh, very pretty. Another one that almost has like a grayscale feel to it. Very nice. I wonder where she comes up with these ideas, you know, what what type of houses to uh, make. A <laughs> boot. Another one built into a house. Into a house. Into a tree. I just realized what I said. <laughs> Looks like another one in a pumpkin. Now that is a tall fairy house few stories to that one. Everybody's dream house with a white picket fence. <laughs> Neat. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Hmm. Don't you need? Oh, look at that. Ooh, fancy. Looks like that could be a Christmas one. With the with the holly and stuff. Oh, and there was even mistletoe on there, wasn't there? Yeah. Yes, definitely a Christmas fairy house. Ooh, strawberries all over. Yum. How quaint, right? <laughs> and another teapot house. A lot of stonework in that one. Oh, look at this. Made out of books. Grimm's Fairy Tales, Fairy Tales and Stories, Irish Fairy Tales. <laughs> that is cute. Here we have a log house. Log cabin. Oh, wow. Look at the roof on that one. That'll keep the rain out. And another teapot house. They must like teapots. Another type of grayscale one. That looks like a castle. At least a turret from a castle. <laughs> oh, and another Halloween one. Well, the pumpkin part of it anyhow. So we got the broomstick here and the cauldron here. So yes, I think it's definitely Halloween. Okay. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> I shouldn't even say it. 
Okay, I will. Reminds me of an outhouse. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, Lisa, bad, bad. And the outhouse was the last picture. <laughs> and this one has a couple of blank pages at the back if you want to test your mediums. Here's some thumbnails of some of the houses inside. And again, shows the artist of the book. All right. Well, that was interesting. I think they're very, very cute. So again, that was Fairy Houses and Fairy Houses 2 by Stephanie Ellsworth. Really cute. I'm glad I got them. So um, if you like this flip through, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a great week and as always, Happy coloring. Bye, guys.